So hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucy and today I wanted to film a video all about my favourite books so far of 2019. So a lot of you might know that this probably has been a very short list to choose from considering I've not read that many books in 2019. However, I have read some amazing ones and I feel like it's only right to share those with you. So if you're new to this channel, welcome and please do consider sticking around. I do videos all about books, all about lifestyle, all about writing, all that good stuff. So if you enjoyed this video, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. So as I mentioned, the list to choose from from this video was painfully short. I have not read enough books this year, it's only my fault and it's because I just am struggling to read at the minute, anyone else feel me? However I have read some of the books that I've been meaning to read for ages so I feel like in that sense it has been a great reading year because I have read some new favourite books, I have actually finished off series which I'll talk about in this video, I've started series which I knew I would love and I'm now obsessed with, so it's been a good kind of year for getting old reading done if that makes sense, wait for the train to go by and okay I think they're gone, thank god. Anyway so yes there's been um, quite a productive level of reading in terms of getting things ticked off my TBR list that have been on there for ages. So I have four books on my lap that I would consider my top four books of 2019 so far. Do let me know what your books of 2019 so far have been your favourite ones and of course at the end of the year I always do a roundup of the full year of all the books that I enjoyed that year so um, I will be sure to do that at the end of 2019 which is getting scarily close. Anyway let's get cracking on my top four books of 2019 so far. So the first book I don't have a physical copy of because I read a proof and I don't know where that proof has gone. Anyway this is What Happens Now by Sophia Money Coots. This is out now and this is the second novel from Sophia Money Coots who is a journalist and a just a brilliant writer. So her books kind of tackle like millennial relationships. Her first book was called The Plus One and that was all about kind of like that awkward thing where you're eternally single and never have anyone to take to weddings. And her second book is what happens when you go on a Tinder date and you end up going back to their house and then you find out a few weeks later that you're pregnant and they're off the scene. They have ghosted you. Well this is the plot of her new book What Happens Now. It is hilarious, it is romantic, it is the perfect rom-com in a book. But I just can't get across to you guys how funny her books are. Um, what Happens Now I think I liked even more than The Plus One which I loved anyway. Um, it's out now, it's the perfect kind of like just easy Sunday read, it'll make you laugh, it's just so sweet and in this book particular there's some kind of like laugh out loud horrific scenes and I loved this book so much. All books by the way will be linked below in the description bar so if any of these books catch your eye you can just click on that link it'll take you to a website called The Book Depository and I get a small kind of commission if you end up buying a book so it's all good stuff. They also do free shipping which I feel like is an important thing especially if you're buying loads of books. Free shipping always comes in handy. So yes What Happens Now was undoubtedly one of my favourite books of 2019 so far. The next book is finally me finishing off a series. I feel like this is why I don't read series because I get really distracted and I never end up finishing them but I finished this series which was the Winner's Curse series. So I finished The Winner's Kiss by Marie Rutkowski and this is the third and final book in the Winner's series. Um, this is kind of like a Roman inspired fantasy series. Um, it's kind of built on a world of slavery and kind of like a military style society. This is one of the most like just purely inspired, um, brilliant, absolutely incredible fantasy series I've read in a long long time. Marie Rutkowski is already one of my favourite authors just based on this series. The skill of the writing is phenomenal and like this is the thing with this series. I went into this series thinking I knew what it was about. I mean look at the covers, they're very pretty, they're very like you know traditional YA fantasy. However this is so much more than a you know your run-of-the-mill YA fantasy series like oh my god it is a master of storytelling and 
I absolutely adored the series. The conclusion was perfect, it was heartbreaking, it was blooming brilliant. So I urge you all to read this series and The Winner's Kiss in particular didn't disappoint. It, oh my god, obviously it's in my one of my favourite books videos but I just adored it. So I would urge you all to read this series if you haven't yet. I know I'm super late to the game as always um, but I've now finished the series and I'm so happy that I read it because it was blooming brilliant. Okay my next and third favourite of 2019 so far is a book that I read. It broke my heart and now I have a new favourite book. I think of all the books that I'm showing you today this has the number one spot in my heart. It is The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. This is Greek mythology turned on its head. This is obviously the story of Achilles and Patroclus and oh my god I didn't know enough about their story but then after reading this book and having my heart broken and torn into bits from this book I have become obsessed with Greek mythology and I just absolutely loved this. I flew through it. I'm now a Madeline Miller super fan and I can't wait to read Circe which is her second book and based around the myth of Circe. I meant to read that months ago, still haven't gotten around to it because it's me um, but The Song of Achilles is so pitch perfect, so beautifully told, so imaginative like I wish I could write a book like this oh my god it's just so good if you have not read the song of Achilles please for the love of all that is holy just try reading it you'll fall in love it's a brilliant brilliant story and I think it's my favorite read of 2019 so far I've said it finally a few years back a series got released a first book in a series got released that I was anticipating from the get-go I had a countdown of when this series would be released and then flick to 2019 and the series is basically completed and I've still not read the first book. We are of course talking about Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. So I pre-ordered this gorgeous exclusive limited edition version, oh Jesus, it's also signed by the way, of Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare and had I read it? Nope, didn't read it until this year when Simon & Schuster contacted me about a- oh, all the books are tumbling everywhere- when Simon & Schuster contacted me about a Dark Artifices readathon and I was like this is my moment, this is my chance, I'm finally going to get around to reading This Utter Beast. So if you don't know anything about Lady Midnight, um, A where have you been? And secondly, um, it is a series by Cassandra Clare who is the author of the Shadow Hunters world and this is set in Los Angeles a few years after the original Shadow Hunters series called The Mortal Instruments and this series follows Emma Carstairs who is a badass shadow hunter. So did I like this book? Yeah you guessed it I bloody loved it and I'm so happy that I got around to reading this because I've been missing out on this for so many years like what else did I think would happen when I read this book? Of course I would love it, it's Cassandra Clare. Um, I was just blown away and I've not yet read Lord of Shadows but I am going to read Lord of Shadows. It's on my um, bedside table, I'm gonna read it, it's gonna happen. But this of course made it into my top 2019 book so far because it was brilliant and I've also done a separate review of this book which I'll leave down below. If you wanna know the ins and outs of everything I thought about this book um, please do watch that video because it's got all the juicy, all my juicy thoughts about it in it. So there you go. Love this book and I will let you know when I get round to reading the next two books in the series, Lord of Shadows and Queen of Air and Darkness. Guys, those are my top four books of 2019 so far. I really hope this autumn, um, I know there's some really amazing new releases coming out um, and I really hope that I get round to reading some of them and I really hope that I find my reading mojo because this has not been the year of reading, it really hasn't and I have been trying I promise. Let me know what books you're looking forward to for the rest of 2019 down in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please inspire me with your love of reading. Please pass this on. I just really need some inspiration right now and I know you guys are so good for that. So let me know what you're looking forward to down in the comments and please do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if you agree with any of my choices. If you haven't yet subscribed guys, please do consider subscribing. Um, I will be very, very grateful and I'll see you next time. Bye.